Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to say that there is hope for NASCAR yet. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was news diving, looking for articles in reference to the recent surges of, uh, of uh, Blue Lives Matter rallies. And I came across this story and come to find out that it's about two to three weeks old and I haven't heard about it. Now, when Bubba came out with that busted looking uh, Black Lives Matter car. Uh, that was that was like all over social media. It was all over Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you name it, YouTube. Everybody knew about it. But this car right here, nobody's even talking about it. And I went to look and do some research on it. And like the only people talking about it is like one news station. So I decided to do a video about it because I have been to one NASCAR uh, event. It was I did enjoy myself. I didn't understand. Like, I, it's not my thing. Because just if it wasn't for the people, I would have been bored out my mind. Real talk. So I really am happy to see that there's equal representation for people like me and other people who not only support the police, but we love the police. And we want them um, supported as, as well. I do not support BLM whatsoever. But let me go ahead and get to this story. A NASCAR driver raced in a back the blue car in support of the police. Days after NASCAR, only full-time black driver raced in a Black Lives Matter theme. I can't, I'm just laughing at the whole thing about Bubba being black. <laughs> There's nothing black about Bubba except for his shirt that he wears that says, I can't breathe on it. Anyway, <laughs> Black Lives Matter theme car, a competitor drove with a symbol, with a symbol of Blue Lives Matter on his hood. At Saturday's NASCAR Xfinity race in Homestead, Florida, driver Kyle Weatherman debuted a newly designed car emblazoned with the hashtag Back the Blue in support of police and first responders. The hood of Weatherman's Camaro bore the thin blue line flag, an emblem of the Blue Lives Matter organization, a national group of police and their supporters originally formed to counter the Black Lives Matter movement. So let's look at the... Uh, news, that one news <laughs> show that basically talked about it. Well, days after NASCAR made history with Black Lives Matter car, a competitor responded with a Blue Lives Matter paint job. Driver Kyle Weatherman debuted a car with the hashtag Black the Blue in support of police and first responders. Back the Blue, excuse me. The hood of the Camaro has a thin blue line flag, an emblem of the Blue Lives Matter organization, which was created to counter the Black Lives Movement. This came just days after Bubba Wallace, NASCAR's only black driver, debuted his car with a Black Lives Matter design. Now, I have some pictures here to show how beautiful this car is. I want to actually show the sponsors of the car. I really support this car. I do not support that busted uh, Black Lives Matter uh, car that's driven by Bubba. I can't breathe, Mister. You know what's so amazing about this whole situation with Bubba Wallace is that Bubba did not grow up in the Black community. He has no ties to the Black community. Uh, most of his family, they're white. Okay, his girlfriend is white. Like the only f Black thing about Bubba is his mama and his sister, okay? Um, fun fact, did you know that Bubba Ma Wallace's mama, his mammy, did not support him going into NASCAR. She didn't like him going into NASCAR. She was against him going into NASCAR. And it was actually Bubba's daddy who was supporting him going into NASCAR and actually sponsored him. Now, of course, uh, his mama and daddy are no longer together. And trust me, after reading a lot of stuff that she said, I can see why. <laughs> Good move there, Bubba daddies. Okay, Bubba daddies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad your daddy woke up, okay, because your mama is, oof, honey. Anyway, Bubba supported his uh, sister basketball career. She traveled all over the nation, you know, supporting her, supporting her daughter. She really didn't come to 
any NASCAR events until Bubba started making money. Okay. Do with that information what you will. But until Bubba started making money and started being praised, that's when she starts to show up. But she gave all her time to her sister, to his sister. And once her, her basketball career was not, uh, was, was just basically a dud. It wasn't going to go that far. Uh, that's when she's decided to back Bubba. So here you have, um, the car here. This is what the car looks like. I say, I think I also have this one also on the road here, uh, of the black lives matter. I don't like it. it it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, ugh. It's absolutely horrid to me. I don't support this type of car. Um, it's just basically ugly as far as I'm concerned. Um, <laughs> and I would say something about typical. Okay. By the way, thank you for your service. But I can see why the United States Air Force would uh, sponsor this car and not the Marines or the Army. Yes, I went there. Yes, I said it. Come at me. Come at me. <laughs> come get some come get some if you want it but um getting back to this beautiful lovely i love this car because it has the american flag on there as well as the blue lives matter flag um it has way more sponsors than the black lives matter flag hmm i wonder why and it's just it's nice stylish it looks sleek it's beautiful baby it looks good honey I'm here for this car. And I think I have another picture of it here as well. Let me see. Yeah, I got a lot of pictures of the car. So it's app. Now, this, from my understanding, this car has been painted this way temporarily. I don't think, from my understanding, I don't think they're going to keep this car uh, like this for long. I hope they keep it as long as they can. I don't know what petition we need to sign to get this car to stay this way for a long time. Well, maybe until uh, President Trump wins his reelection. But uh, I love this right here. It says the devil went down to Georgia. Oh, my good. Oh, my, I'm in love. I'm so <laughs> I'm in love with this car already. OK, but this is a good car. I'm glad they have it. And I was really, really I was really uh, surprised pleasantly surprised that they finally came out with a car to counteract against um, this madness here. Um, I was just really disappointed in the recent decisions made by NASCAR. And I was just totally just, I just walked away from even trying to support the, the, the sport. I have been to a NASCAR event and actually had a wonderful time. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Um, not my thing as far as watching cars go around and around and around. It was the people. It was the people in the crowd that made the NASCAR event enjoyable. And for them to get rid of the flag, for them to march behind Bubba, hundreds of white people marching behind him in solidarity of, which we want to in the, in the race. <laughs> I was just... I just shook my head and I just walked away and I'm like, all right, NASCAR, I'm I'm done. I, I did my hands like this. I, I'm done with you. I'm, I mean, I just washed my hands at NASCAR and it looks like you brought me back with this. You brought me back with this. You have my support because it looks like all of y'all are not crazy. So kudos to whoever created this car. Um, I know it's, it's the, um, um, Mr. Weatherman, but it, I, it was actually his team that decided, uh, or whoever sponsoring him decided to actually make this car. And I really support, uh, their decision and you have my support and my back. Uh, I mean, my back, you, I have your back on this <laughs> and I hope you keep it up. Okay. All right. This is tree from tree of logic. Dot com. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the video content that I bring to you, feel free to subscribe. Also, share this good news with other people. And I will talk to you all next time. Later, taters.